What's up everyone? Rox here. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm somewhat a little bothered because I came across this thing called Disney Infinity. And what it is, it's a game that can be played on last gen consoles. The concept of the game is that you can play in this toy box world of imagination using Disney characters as avatars to roam and explore these different worlds that exist within the Disney animated universes. Like for instance, you can play in the city of the Incredibles or explore the world of the Pirates of the Caribbean. There's also the town from Cars and Andy's room from Toy Story, I believe. Now the problem that I have with this game is not the concept or not with Disney, the idea of how you play the game. What I have a problem with is actually the money pit, the huge investment that you have to make or that you're going to make or possibly make depending on how you feel and get into the game because there are many things where you have to put money in order to enhance your experience with the game that's and I'll get to that a little later but right now let me continue to tell you what the game concept is and what it has and what it comes with so the game comes with this base and then on this base you can stand these exclusive Disney figurines and what happens is that your figurine gets transported into the game so that you can play with it or control it with your controller within the video game there are different figurines to choose from but for now there is a select few from current popular Pixar uh, movies and Disney characters to play with now this game is designed for children, and even though children are the desired target demographic, some adults and casual gamers have taken a liking to it and have started to collect every single piece the game has to offer. If you are wondering, is there more than just the figurines to collect for this Infinity game? And the answer is yes, <laughs> and that's where I have a problem with this. You see, there are these things called these power discs, and these power discs do three different things, or three, three different types. One of the power discs, what it does, it basically changes the night sky or the sky within the world of your game. Let's say you want to play and you want to see Rapunzel's world up there, you know, like the night sky with all the lanterns. Well, you put the power disc on your base and all of a sudden the sky turns into that sort of background. Like I said, it's a wallpaper. The second type of power disc is the actual items that you can bring in there. Let's say you want to ride the horse from Beauty and the Beast but you want to use like whatever figurine is on the base so you put the power disc of the horse from Beauty and the Beast and that voila he's inside it he, you can actually get on the horse and ride it there are different types of horses too like I said there are different type of power discs you can also get the horse from Sleepy Hollow uh, you can also get the horse from Mulan so like I said you just have to have the right power disc put it on the base and there it is now the third type of power disc is the abilities of using uh, special powers of the certain character. Let's say you want to use the cannon that Buzz Lightyear has, but you have a different figurine. Well, you can actually get that power disc with B Buzz Lightyear's cannon, put it on the base, and all of a sudden, whatever figurine you have on the base has that same power. He can shoot uh, Buzz Lightyear cannon without being Buzz Lightyear. So those are the three different types of power discs you have. There are different abilities, different items, and different wallpapers that you can take advantage of. Now you don't have to get them all because, you know, it, it's whatever your preference are. You don't have to collect them all. Only get the ones that you like. But what I have a problem is that you cannot buy these things individually. At least the company does not sell them individually. What they do, they sell them in these packs and two come in a pack but you don't know what's inside them and these packs cost five dollars now you don't know like I said what's inside them so every time you open a pack it's a surprise and the problem could be is that sometimes you might get doubles now imagine if you're not getting the one that you want and you're constantly buying these packs this could add up to a quite a bit of money especially let's say you buy five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five that's already twenty five bucks and you probably didn't even get the one that you want. Now, some people have taken advantage of that and are selling them individually. The problem is, is depending on how popular that power disc is, they'll sell them at extremely high prices. They'll sell them like you can find them on Amazon or on eBay, and they'll range from $10 to up to like 50, depending on you know what the rarity of that little power disc is. 
So if you want a different perspective of how much you're going to be spending on this thing, here's an idea. Here's what it's going to look like. You start off with the base and it starts off at $75. And you get three figurines, but let's say you buy another. And another. And another. And next thing you know, you start buying a whole lot more, and what you start at $75 starts to grow. And eventually, if you end up getting the entire set, it is a huge price. Now, you don't have to get them all, but you can see how just buying one thing can lead to more purchases. But just to be clear, the one thing I really have a problem with is not the figurines, because you can be selective on those things. What you can't be selective is the power discs themselves. These things are can can be expensive, especially if you're not if you can't buy them individually because you don't have a choice on which ones you get in these in these packs. And this is the problem I have with this whole game system. And another thing, if you were thinking, well, maybe I'll invest into this, you know, get my fix out of it and eventually sell it to GameStop. Well, I live in Southern California, and I called several GameStops out here, and it turns out that GameStop does not buy the game back, they do not buy the base back, they don't buy the figurines back, nor do they buy the power disc back. So once you buy it, it's yours, and the best thing you can do is probably try to resell it at a decent price on Craigslist or eBay or maybe even Amazon, however you want to sell these things. Now I have a buddy of mine who said he bought figurines out of his GameStop, but he lives in another state. And I'm not sure if in another state they actually buy these things. I don't know. Maybe you guys can comment below and let me know that you guys are buying the figurines at, at your GameStop. I don't know. But I know I called and I spoke to managers and I asked them if any store in this district in Southern California buys these things back. And as far as they could tell me, they said that it was their policy not to buy the game back, not to buy the base, the figurines, nor the power disc. So once they're yours, they're yours. So I went on to Craigslist to see how much these things are actually going for to see if maybe I can buy some at a decent price you know maybe buy the base and some figurines and power discs at a decent price but it turns out that even those people may have come to the realization of how much money they have invested and they're actually trying to recover their investment by selling these their entire collection at almost the M the MSR pre prices, so you'll see a collection of these things sold on Craigslist for up to two hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars. It's almost like you can almost buy a new console. Maybe if there's somebody else who wants to get started and get like a huge bundle, but believe me, some of these people or these sellers, they're not listing them at a price where it's a, it's available at maybe $50 and maybe like several figurines and several discs. No, they want their entire investment. And now I bet you're wondering, Rox, why are you even talking about this? This video has gone way too long. This is a really long rant about something you don't even like. You don't even own this. Why are you talking about this? Well, the reason I bring it up is because I saw this. And yes, now I want to get Disney Infinity. <laughs> Hello everyone, Rox here with a message that I want your support for this channel. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers by 2015 and we can do this by sharing my reviews, rants and commentaries on every social media on the web. All you need to do is share, like, comment, and make sure to subscribe. It's free, fast, and easy. You guys, sincerely, in advance, I want to say thank you for your support and encouragement. So keep coming back because you never know when I'll be putting something else up that you might like. Again, you guys, don't forget to share the video and subscribe. My name is Rox, and I'll see you guys next time.